Our first order of business uh, is uh, public comments. Do we have any comments? My name is Barbara Ellistad with Mesquite Citizen Journal, and I am very disappointed in the uh, proposed minutes that are before you today for approval from the last meeting, and I encourage you not to approve those minutes as they are written. One of the problems is that um, we have commented on before, the minutes do not reflect public comments. All you say is all public comments are recorded and available upon request. The problem with that is the, um, the audio recordings that you make, you only keep for one year. So I have all the confidence in the world that by next November, my comments from last, month, uh, uh, last month's meeting will be erased from the history of OPD. The second part that I have a problem with are the minutes that reflect the review and possible approval of the integrated resource plan. None of that is true. It does not accurately reflect what happened during that meeting and what the general manager said in the explanation to my complaint about that particular uh, item. And unfortunately, both newspapers, both other newspapers who reported on it, did not accurately reflect what actually happened during that meeting. Rather, they reflected in their articles interviews that were done with, between them and the general manager the next morning to explain away his falsification of that document. So I encourage you not to approve these minutes because they are false, as false as the document you approved last month. And for the record, Dave Baldwin is in the hospital tonight. That's why he's not here. Okay, our next uh, item is item C, approval of minutes of previous meeting, held November 20th, 2013. I'm looking for a motion to approve. Can I ask a question first about uh, the comments that came in? Uh, we did correct everything in accordance with what I had brought up in the meeting. You corrected the uh, previous review that was not correct, and the number of customers was corrected, mm -hmm. and that was available for review by the public, correct, on the website. That's perfect. Looking for a motion to approve. Have a motion for a second. A second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, we'll move to the next item. I want to give you a little bit of follow-up on the integrated resource plan. Uh, we submitted that uh, following the board meeting. I received a message from the Western, Hour, Western Area Power Administration. And uh, they said, thanks for your assistance in this matter. Matter be assured that Overton is in full compliance with its IRP requirement. They reviewed our integrated resource plan and they said, please accept my sincere thanks to you and your staff for your good work in responding to the challenges posed by this report. I appreciate the speed with which you handled everything and for keeping me informed in the progress. So I congratulate John and, and Boyd. Uh, the uh, only question at hand was the number of meters they included in there, the total meters that we have in our system and uh, they edited that after consulting with WAPA to what our connected leaders are. So, so we gave them exactly what they wanted. They, they have asked us after the review to continue to take comment over the, the next couple of weeks until uh, December 16th. Um, the one comment that they had for us is they'd like to see just a little bit more detail in our demand side management program. So uh, we're going to take comments on that and then um, based on the findings that we have, we'll support, we'll send a little more detail as an addendum to that, and they need that to them before December 31st, and so we'll update you in January and any changes that were made to that document. But Where we're in those compliance and... come from? I mean, that's probably the comments you're talking about come from? Those comments came from the no, Western Area Power Administration. What are the comments they were asking for? The Excuse me. You said that you asked for comments for who? No, we we've advertised the public in the paper to get uh, public comment in the next couple of weeks so until the So that will come from the public. Yeah. So you'll. I noticed that those are in the papers. You'll continue to see those, and that document still is on our website for people to review. So, 
but uh, we've only been asked to readdress that demand side portion of that. So um, we're in compliance, and that's that's uh, that'll be completed before the end of the month. So the next item, which once again the blast is on, uh, will tell us that it's uh, public comment. Said the State Citizen Journal. I'm going to try one more time and specifically address Mr. Pugh's comments about my earlier public comments. I'm very happy that the general manager made the corrections that he did after I brought the matter to the attention of the board. However, it does not negate the fact that the general manager intentionally and willfully falsified the information in that document that was presented to the board. Now I, I will stop you there. You just made a statement that someone intentionally did something. You have no idea that that's a fact. You, you Sir, make an assumption that something willful happened here. It is corrected by the board, it's corrected in, in the minutes, it's corrected as it needs to be, but to come in here and make a statement that someone willfully came in and falsified statements in a manner to mislead this board or to do something like that, there's no facts to that at all. Yes, there is, sir. It's no. a document that was presented last month to the board that said public comment period, public input comment period, had been made available when in fact it had not, and the general manager admitted that no public input period had ever been offered, when in fact and it was taken care of in that meeting. said it was. And it was taken care of in that meeting. It was corrected right there in that meeting. Uh, and I, and I, I would suggest that you look at that I and also understand find it. it I, is this part of my three minutes? Oh, hey. Uh, I also find it interesting that he is now asking for public input on a document that he's already officially submitted. And you weren't listening how he explained that? He already submitted the document to the to the WAPA. Is that correct, sir? Yes. Okay. And now he's asking for public input on a document that has already been submitted to a, a government entity. You don't find that Interesting, to say the least. I find very little you have to say interesting, to tell you the truth. 